Hey guys, welcome to a double Japan haul. Yeah, we said this is an accumulation of two Japan trips. Yay, so we got lots of stuff, so we're gonna try to do it really quickly. So, first category. Let's do clothes. Okay. I found this at the uh, Adidas outlet, and it was awesome. Right when I saw it, I like was like, I gotta get it, I don't really care. But it was an additional like something percent off. I don't really know, because it's been a while now since I got it, like a month ago? Yeah. Not even a month ago. We actually went to an actual Adidas store, and that jacket was still there. Yeah. Full price, so. Uh, so it's Adidas. Oh, it's a, it, an Adidas, like what? A sports jacket, a baseball yeah. jacket? Letterman jacket. A Letterman jacket. So yeah, so, yeah I don't really think it's cool. real leather though. But uh, it's super cute. I don't cute. think so either. I don't but really care. It's super, it's pretty super cool. cute. I'm um, um, sticking with the Adidas store. I picked up a whole bunch of joggers. They're all basically black. Wait, let's tell you our story about this, please. What was my story? About how I had to convince you to buy like yeah, joggers. Yeah, I always wore jeans. So always. Anna was like, why don't you just get some like, you know, pants for around the house, like you know? Like cool ones. Why are you wearing jeans all the time? Yeah. And I'm like, why well, don't I just wear jeans? So we got you a pair of your first tryout were the Kupals. Yeah, and then I was like, oh, these are our really comfortable Anna's, so I'm like, but I can't wear like Koopal's jogging pants like taking the trash out, so, because they're a little more fancy. Um, so I figured, oh, okay, I'll start looking into buying these. So when I saw they had a whole bunch of them at the Makuhari outlet, I mean, these are just pretty plain. Um, but it's, it all depends on how you style it, too. Of course, oh, yeah. if you're going to look, you're just going to wear a t-shirt with it. But then, like, there's a certain way of like, I guess, carrying yourself and like styling it. That could look pretty awesome, That's but then it also at the same time, if you style it improperly, it could also make you look, look sloppy. a little sloppy. Yeah. So it all depends on how you style it. That's that. It's yeah. awesome. That's aren't those like Jeremy Scott? Um, these no? ones are I think, regular. A lot of them were Adidas originals, mm -hmm. so. Um, but they, they fit were, you good. Yeah, they fit really yeah. nice, and they have, that's that that outlet. Should you ever be in Japan and you head out that way, that outlet kicks ass for you. Yeah. Because it's discounted, and then there's usually have additional discounts on it. So. On top of that. And then They're, tax free if you bring your passport. So. And it can get pretty overwhelming with all the like a lot of the stores out there in Japan. Because mm -hmm. to me, it all just kind of I get overwhelmed, and they all kind of look the same to me. But I've noticed from going more than a couple of times now, there's a store that I like called Tomorrowland. So I got these at Tomorrowland. These are Isabel Mor. No, no, these aren't Isabel Morant. These Golden are Golden Goose. Goose. Do you got? You guys know Golden Goose shoes are pretty expensive. They're all like handmade, so that's why they're a little bit pricey. But this was at the outlet, and this was like so cheap. It's crazy how cheap they were. Mm -hmm. I'm not gonna say the price because I don't know. You don't even remember the. Price I don't really thing. remember the price. That's and one also of the on top why. of that too, uh, the. Discount, or no, sorry, the exchange rate was in our favor, so we were actually getting, if stuff was already discounted with the exchange rate, it was like getting an additional 20% off. Yeah. So. so, Golden Goose is an awesome brand. I have a couple of pair of boots already from them. I wore them on the day that I got them. Um, I love them. They're so comfortable and they're just rad. And I'm afraid to wear them too much because I don't, they're like fashion train trainers, you know? Yeah, they're really I, They're cool. not really made to like really like run around and like be sporty with or more for I guess aesthetically like fashion looking cool. looking shoes um so I'm trying not to wear them too much because I do love them yeah um but yeah they're rad they're so cool yeah I bought three of these shirts they're from a store called Freaks Store yeah. which is so funny because it's far from it yeah it's very like kind of outdoorsy kind of like a really nice J Crew. this shirt was like fit for me when i put it on i honestly couldn't believe it i thought someone had like copied my body and it just fit so perfectly so i got it in navy i got it in orange and i got it in white and you got this the freak store is in i want to say there, there's shinjuku? a few of them around yeah. um but this particular one you got in shinjuku in shinjuku right? yeah, yeah in lumine i think yeah really good cotton material um all these japanese brands that their clothes are made in japan their quality is unbelievably good. Uh, All right, next. The next is like, okay, this, we, are, we already have it in America, but I saw it on the display and I was like, oh my God, I gotta get this whole outfit. And it was basically how, it was on mannequin and I already had the shoes, I already had the hat. So I was like, oh, let me just get the whole outfit. Yep. So the, this is it right here. It's just like a floral um, slip dress. I got this at the Zara in Ginza. Which is like a really nice like Zara, I think. 
Yes, you yes. know, it's I think it's really pretty. Oh, I like that on you. I think you should wear it. It goes like I would say it's about mid length, and I'm gonna be wearing these with like some some black ankle boots, and I'm gonna be pairing it with this bomber jacket. And it's so effing cute. Look at this. Most bomber jackets I feel like are very poofy and like they kind of like are a little bit like I guess you could say top heavy. Mm -hmm. But this one is really nice. It gives the bomber effect without looking too bulky. And it looked really cute with this dress when I tried it on, like together. So imagine this dress, this dress, with this bomber jacket, right? Uh, wow! Yeah. All right, one of my favorite stores in Tokyo, and it's not a Japanese store, but it is another offshoot of Zara. It's called Bershka. For some reason, they just have the best guy stuff. So this yeah. is like a, a shirt with like some holes in it. It's a little <laughs> bit longer. It's got some like dangly shit on the side. I probably am <laughs> gonna just cut that off because it yeah. is a raw hem. It's a little too gothy. And my favorite shirt in the whole world is a black t-shirt from Bershka and this is the same kind of material. So I'm really happy they had something like it. And then the next one is something that Anna made me buy because she forces me to buy things all the yeah. time. It is this black sweater. It's cute. And it's kind of got a raw edge on the bottom. But look, it's also a little bit asymmetrical too. Yeah. Yeah. Kind of hard to tell. And then it has this zipper here to keep your 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 hide your hide stuff in there. It was a nice fit. Oh, no, actually, on on the on the rack, I thought it was Silly. stupid looking, but then I tried it on, and then it was like, see, I told you, it's really nice. I told so, you. oh, I just remembered something. What? I'll be right back. Yeah. All right, don't so the, I, I know. I uh, just it reminded me now. I don't know how your sneakers didn't remind me. I got these Nikes. These are Roshis. Um, they're they're so black. They're like an inky black blue. Some lights they look kind of navy and gray, and some lights they look black. So it's kind of hard to tell. They're kind of reading blue there. I know, Anna. You're getting nervous, huh? This is so, uh, hard. This is so, uh, so yeah. They're just really cool Roshis. I got these at a store called Atmos, but I got them in a little boutique in the Shibuya Hikari. Yes. Yeah. There's also a Atmos right in the center of, of Shibuya, Shibuya so, which is an amazing store if you're into sneakers. Uh, it's like two levels and they have literally every Nike yeah. ever and every Adidas ever and they're like wrapped and they're just beautiful. and. It's yeah. a crazy busy story. You have to check it out. If Remember, you um, back in December, in December when we went, our friend Joseph met mm -hmm. up with us, and he like just went bananas yeah. in that place because he's like a major like shoe freak or like trainer freak, whatever you want to call it. Um, but yeah, he was totally going bananas at that place. So, is that it for clothes? I think so. Oh, wait, oh, let's, let's lead into the door. Clothes. Yeah, dog clothes. One of the reasons why we went to the Hakari department store was. Back in the December trip, we found this sweater that Thor is wearing right here. <laughs> Look how cute. It's like this little black sweater. It's so cute. Look at his tail. Wait, did you guys even see his tail yet? Well, it's, it's <laughs> a little bit, but like he's so effing cute. Look at that. <laughs> but yeah, we got him this sweater and he's been yeah. wearing it pretty much every day. We washed it already. That's yeah. how much like he's worn it. Yeah. So we decided to get a few more shirts for him because you know, he's a little dog. He gets cold. Um, so and he yeah. just looks cool. Yeah. He looks much tougher wearing a sweater. So, it's like a little sailor sweater. Yeah. You can see there's a little anchor on it or something. So yeah, um, so yeah it's pretty funny. You got him? Yeah. All right. So the, the first one we got him was just it's identical sweater, just a different pattern and color. Yes. So really cute. Um, the second one is stupid. <laughs> yeah. Same sweater, right? Oh, but, but it, it has, has a, a hoodie. Yeah, so. not just a hoodie, but look at the little pom-pom. hoodie with a pom-pom. <laughs> so cute. Super cute. And yes. those are a little on the pricey side, but they're like 40 or 50 bucks. But um, with the discount, came down to price. And then with the American exchange, it was actually really good. So yeah. um, that's how I could justify it. Because when I first saw the price, I was like, no way. But yeah. And then the next thing we got him was... <laughs> You this is from a, so a different dog store, but I'm, we're just including it now. Huh? So cute. You may He's have so seen large. this on his like Instagram or whatever, or Anna's Instagram. But it's a, what would you call this? It's like a, a, a puffer vest. It's a puffer vest. Um, but it just reminds me of Lars and the Real Girl. Yeah. Like Ryan, Ryan Gosling's outfit. I'll put the picture here. Mm -hmm. but it also has a little secret pocket inside so Thor can hide his drugs. <laughs> Or whatever, his bones. His bones. Uh, but yeah, pretty funny, hey? 
And he likes it too. And he loves it. He loves wearing clothes. He likes clothes, wearing so clothes. It's very funny. It's, you it's just like make his, you want to buy more for him. Yeah, it's so. like his like Fender shirt. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. If you guys don't know what a Fender shirt is, check it. Out. Yeah, we had it for Cooper. Remember, it made him feel so secure and safe. And yeah. Safe. All right. So let's switch over to cosmetics before we get into like the little knickknacks, right? Okay. So usually I always try to go check out the Hakuhodo counter in Shibuya. And what, which one is that one in? I think it's called the Tokyo Department Store. Tokyo Plaza. Yes. I think. I it's think. It's above the Shibuya subway station. Subway, yeah. They have a Hakuhodo counter there. So whenever I'm there, I do try to check out some brushes. And I try to go home with a couple of brushes because they're pretty pricey. And they're not only pricey, but they're really good quality brushes. So I grabbed a couple here. Um, I grabbed two brushes right here. So I got a blending brush, another blending brush. Like I would say like this is more of a smudger or like, I don't know, to soften like, you know, cold eyeliner or whatever you want to call it. Mm -hmm. And then another smudger. The funny part is, I already had these two, but I didn't know until after. But you can never run out of brushes, at least in my opinion, <laughs> you know, I love having brushes. It's basically what I would have paid if I got MAC brushes, but with my discount because I get a... I get a, a Pro PPID discount at MAC. Alright, next. Okay, next. I got the Shiomura Eyelash Curler. I gave mine away. I don't know why. I never used it, but I gave it away to one of my girlfriends. And I decided to pick one up. I got it just so I could like maybe like define a little bit the random eyelashes that I do have. The edges. Just to kind of curl them a little bit more. Grab that. I also got some refills of my... Whoa, what's this? Oh. Oh. What did, what did I get? Oh, okay. <laughs> Sorry. I also got the Shibimura Lasting Soft Gel Eye Pencil. This is just a brown eyeliner. I got it in medium brown. I have a couple of these. I like to have a back sock of this because they're great. And then I also tried out the Shibimura Brow Sword Pencil. I got it in the... This isn't the one that you like actually shave. This is actually in a pencil that you kind of just like move up. Um, I don't know how I feel about this, to be honest with you. Right? Um, especially since That's I just got my eyebrows yeah. tattooed. <laughs> There's really no... Retattooed, yeah. there was really no point of me getting this. But I got it and... The reason why I ended up getting this was because it's slanted. So all you have to do is like kind of like just brush it up. Oh. Okay. Okay, so while we were also in Japan, I just decided to treat myself because I saw this and I was like, oh my god, it's in Japanese, I gotta have it. But it's this Tom Ford lipstick. And it, I'm also wearing Tom Ford right now. This is what, a lipstick that Jesse bought me. I'm not sure what color it was. Um, well... Ruby... No. Woo. Do you want to grab it really fast? No, it's so red. Then people are going to ask and you can link it. Red. Damn it! This lipstick that I'm wearing, this is in Ruby Rush, and totally obsessed with it, love it, long wearing, it's just delicious. It's like the perfect red. It is, it is pretty much perfect. So I decided to get myself another color, more neutral, and this is the color, I couldn't wait, guys, I threw the boxes away already, but I couldn't wait to use it, but I got this in, it's not going to help because it's in it's Japanese. Japanese. <laughs> There's a number. This one is a number four. Okay. Okay. Whatever the number four is. Yeah, and the all the lips that I believe I got were in matte. And then the second trip in um, end of January. So I bought two more lipsticks, and they're right here. Oh. And Jesse will you'll just show it, right? This one is in 14, and one is in 41. They're pretty close and similar in color, but I could tell the difference. I can. One's a little bit more like taupey and one's a little bit more like brown. But yeah, very nude lips. And then the other one has more of a mauve, like pinky undertone to it. While these two that I just bought are more nude. So like, kind of like your lips, but better. We had the opportunity to visit the Takashi Murakami exhibit in Roppongi at the Mori Art Museum, which was mind blowing and amazing. Uh, it was way better and bigger than I had thought it was. So we picked up a few things at the gift shop. Yes. Cook cookies. Yes. Do you ever eat them? 
I mean, I'm I guess so, right? Well, we kind of got it for the tin. Yeah, we got it for the tin because the tin is pretty cool. Yeah. All right, this here is a tin containing all of the postcards that they had for a piece of artwork that he has called the 500 R hats. I believe I'm saying that right. So if you put them all together, they form the artwork, which is this enormously long mm -hmm. artwork. It's amazing. You have to go see it. Our vlog here, I'll put a link. You guys can check that out if you want to see it. It's like we're shopping again. It is like we're shopping again. Stickers. Like oh yeah, nice. Yeah. Oh wow, we got a lot of stickers. <laughs> I was just throwing things in the bag because it was all really cheap, so. Nice. Yes. Another set of postcards. These are really cool because they're like foil, metal foil. So um, those will look cool framed as well. Oh, that's the accordion thing. Oh yeah, this yeah. is cool. Okay, I'll open this up because it is really cool. All right, so here is the artwork itself. Want to take one side? Yeah. Whoa. What the heck? It's going. Okay, now I'm kind of regretting opening it. Yeah. <laughs> this is the artwork that you see when you're there. And yeah. these are like eight feet tall. Yeah. Like 60, 70 feet long. It's crazy. See? Yeah, that's one piece. That's one piece. Yeah. So, really cool. What is this? I don't know. I think that's from that jewelry place in um, Harajuku. Like right out of the train station? Before the room, yeah. Yeah. It is. Yeah. Oh, yes. So I bought, oh my god. Yes, 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 yes. So I bought some earrings, like some super, super dainty earrings. These are supposedly 14 karat gold. I'm excited to wear these super tiny. And then I also got like a new choker necklace because you never have enough of them, you know? <laughs> uh, something that I'm constantly struggling with in Japan is change. So I got a little change purse. Uh, pretty much everybody has one, but I also got this tiny little <laughs> that jingles. It's just a little change purse, but it has spaces inside for a card, specifically my Suica card, which is your subway card in Japan. It just was very easy for me to like tap and move along, and then also have all my change. So. It's also from the brand Porter. Yeah, that's only me that's made in Japan, which you need to show your 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 feet. Is that from the, that yeah. trip? Oh wow! Oh, yeah. Okay, yeah. I'll go grab that right now. All right, the next item is also by Porter Japan, but I got it at a store called Ape, Ape a, a bathing ape, something yeah. like that. Um, it's just a little sling backpack like that, obviously. And An upgrade for your little Nike one. Yeah, I had this little shitty Nike one that I was traveling with. Just because when you're traveling, obviously you have a lot of shit with you that you need to keep uh, on you at all times. And it was like, get a good one. So you were using it like almost yeah. every trip. And so I'll be using it in real life here too. So orange inside, it's got some pockets. It's pretty cool. Also to go along with the camo theme, I realized that I also got a Stussy hat right there. It's becoming like a tradition for you to buy to a Stussy hat. hat. They just have nice Stussy hats in Tokyo. So. <laughs> Even though we have Stussy here. They have different ones in Tokyo. No, so. they do. Um, also there was a girl that was from, who oh, came to Los Angeles, so yeah. hi. Thank you for helping us. Uh, you were very nice. So, All right, the next thing we got was from a department store called Modi. I'm not sure what the actual store was. I'll link you to the vlog right here. It was from this little store that had all sorts of vintage um, things like old mugs and stuff like that. They had old trays, which somebody loves yes. for some reason. I don't know. I just like them. These are fiberglass like trays. Yes. Yeah, so. I'm planning on using this one for um, like my... SMA, if you guys are like wondering what that is, it's like my like clean area for like my shears and my combs and stuff at my station at the salon. And this I'm going to, I'm going to use for my vanity to put, use like, you know, makeup I use and everything yeah. to keep it organized. I like things organized and just like in its place. So anything to help me like feel like I'm organized. I go for it. Anna loves trays. Yeah, I do. I like anything organizational. But this is fiberglass. I'm into this whole fiberglass thing. Vintage and very yeah, cool. Yeah, it's super cool. Yeah. Okay. The next thing I, we saw was this. A hamburger. Yeah. But it's so funny. It's made out of wood. Yeah. Do you Let's know what it is, guys? It. Pickles. Cheese. This is making me hungry. I know. Maybe we should order some food right now. Tomatoes. <laughs> and the bun. They are coasters for drinks. Yeah. Is that not genius? <laughs> um, it's just hilarious. We yeah. just had to get it. 
So funny. From the same store, we have a couple of Japanese enamelware coffee cups. These are steel. And they are made from a company called Honeyware. Um, these are just so well made and so nice looking. I was like, I have to have these. Just amazing. It's like you're camping all the time. Mm -hmm. But with extremely well-made stuff. People in Japan seem to be obsessed with coffee. So there's all sorts of cool stuff that you can find around. Um, this is a micro coffee dripper. So basically it is a rubber um, and metal screen that you can make one cup of coffee. And it fits perfectly into one of these. So cute. Little travel mugs. So it's perfect for... Um, when you want a quick cup of coffee and you're on the way out the door. And to go along with that, I also got this, which is a little mini packet of coffee to go in that little coffee thingy. So um, there's a store in Tokyo that I'm obsessed with. It's called Smith and they have carry a line called Delphonics. So they have all sorts of cool stuff um, for office and stuff like that. They have pens. Cool pens, mm -hmm. all that stuff. So, um, this here is a little picture book for putting in square photographs, like Instagram photos that you print out. It'd be really cool. Um, these are little utility pouches. Um, these are so great. They just yeah. are pockets. So, uh, I know Anna uses one, puts it in her purse. Mm -hmm. I have these all over my camera bags. This too is a, um, oh, prizes. Notepad, gold notepad. Yes. Yeah. Big gold notepad. More pens. Pins, right? Yeah. And then the inside of these things has more pockets. No, I don't think you can tell. Oh, hey. I got a ruler. I don't know why. I just liked it. Uh, and I got two pens. Kind of vintage -y pens. Yeah. Uh, this is from a store called Loft. And there's a few around in Tokyo. It's just a metal box. They seem to have all these really cool utility, utility like, yeah. boxes that are made out of steel. Um, we previously had got a metal a tool box that was really cool. They're just so cool. Star Wars was really big when we were there, so there's lots of Star Wars themed stuff that was everywhere, so I ended up buying a lot of it. Um, <laughs> I forgot you got them. Yeah. That's so funny. <laughs> these are Star Wars bags. Uh, they're paper bags, but look at the design. Bags. It's pretty cool. Yeah. Or gift bags. Yeah. Stormtroopers. This is really cool. Don't drop it, Jesse. Don't drop it, Jesse. Don't drop it, Jesse. That's this so isn't cool. only in Tokyo, only in the loft store. Yeah. It is a Star Wars kind of like mug, tea mug, I guess, with all sorts of different characters and vehicles on it. Um, it's earthware. Really cool. Maybe. Oh, I forgot about this. There. Need we say more? It's a calendar. <laughs> oh yeah. It's a calendar that looks like Mookie. <laughs> as much as I, I like changing my iPhone cases around, I haven't been able to change it too much since I got the iPhone 6, Six plus. Because plus. it's so big and then like, I just, there's just not that much phone cases or phone case covers. So he makes me use this silly thing, which, you know, is just plain. But it's it. drop and impact resistant. Yeah, so I have to use this now. <laughs> mm -hmm. So I decided to get some stickers and design it with I don't know what, but it shows like people, you know, it's made to go on iPhones and stuff like yeah. that. So I'll write something, maybe my name, maybe something, maybe mine, maybe Jesse's name. Yeah, I got that. Nice. So when we were in Harajuku, we went to this store called Kitty Land, but it's basically on basically just floors and floors of like toys. kid toys. We were on the search for Mario Kart because Jesse's best friend's son is so obsessed with Mario. So, so obsessed with Bowser from oh, Mario. Oh, sorry, Bowser. Close enough. Yes. So we were looking everywhere for it and just didn't have any luck, which is so odd. Hard to find. But I did find some clips. These Gudetama clips. So funny, you guys are probably wondering what the hell are you gonna do with this? Um, what I'm gonna do with this is when I do some when I do hairstyling, especially when the model or my client or someone's hair is already done, and say they have to go to makeup or anything like that, they need to get their hair out of their face. So instead of using tissue in the clip, 
I got some Gudetama pins because I think it's so funny. It's yeah. just, I think it's laughter. It's really But you cute. basically, you would just pin it to there. Nice. Okay? And then you could do the other side on the other. It's funny. Um, yeah. You could also use it when you're doing your own makeup too. Like if you, you know, if you want to get, make sure you get your hair away from your face, just clip it in. Nice. There, done. Nice. Yeah. I wouldn't wear it out and about, but it's just something funny. Maybe not. No. Be like, hey, you have an egg stuck in your hair. <laughs> A lazy egg. A lazy egg stuck in your hand. Uh, Alright guys, so the last section is going to be things that are more like toys. So, we went to Disneyland, but we oh, didn't we actually go. Disneyland. Because I wanted to get this bear, I just thought it was funny. <laughs> Look at how cute it is. It's only available in Japan. Mm -hmm. So I knew I wanted to get a souvenir from Japan that, you know, I could you know, just hold on to just because. Look how cute it is. <laughs> Seriously. But I guess it's called it's cute, I guess. Bear University, and it's only available in Japan. Mm -hmm. I don't know how many times I'm going to say that, but <laughs> I got it. It's just for fun. It's just funny. I was it's like, just are you sure you want this? Yeah, I don't really collect bears, but I just wanted something from Japan that was like like a like a, a toy that you can only get in Japan. Yeah. So I got it. It's super cute. I can't really complain because I bought them stuff too. Yeah. <laughs> Okay, this is not for me, but I thought it was really cool. I'll show you to you. I'm giving this to my best friend's son. Huh? Yeah. It's a vinyl Darth Vader. How cool is that? So I, cool. I actually kind of regret not getting one for myself. <laughs> Maybe is this why you're shooting this? To make sure you give it to him? Yes. <laughs> I'm, I was really considering keeping it right now. So. And then, uh, like I said, there's tons of Star Wars stuff that's going on in Japan. So... And they have these really cool designs for there. Yeah. yeah. I don't know why they're not anywhere else. I think they're really cool. This is a Star Wars chopstick set. And then this is a Star Wars little lunch set. So it's got chopsticks and it's got a spoon and a knife. Mm -hmm. It's just cool. I couldn't resist getting it. It was just so wacky. Like, why does it need to even exist? And then I picked up these two notepads. They're identical. It has all these Star Wars characters in there. And just like... Cool designs on every page. Yeah. I saw this and I'm like, how do I not get this? Um, these were all, you got these all at the Disney store? These I got at the Disney store and then these um, I got at uh, Toys R Us, strangely enough. Um, and then the last things, the last few things that we have here are from the UFO Catcher Games. <laughs> all right. So this is the first one here. It is a bear sushi. <laughs> is that an egg? I think it sits like this. <laughs> First thing when we got here, if you saw this vlog already, um, I had actually won Anna a bag cat, which is this right here. Uh, but there was an old Japanese grandma watching us and trying to get this before us. So I ended up giving one to her. Um, and this one cost me a lot of money. <laughs> uh, but I was able to get this one pretty easy. Uh, yeah. And then, the, like I said, the bag, I so the bag cat. It's pretty funny. Yeah, we have the other one with like the the uh, coat of shame. Yeah, coat of shame. So it's a cat in there. Yeah. Pretty so funny. Uh, but yeah, this one cost me a pretty penny because it took me a lot of tries. <laughs> I think. I think I that's, that's it. That's it. Yeah. I think that's it. But probably something we're missing, but it's okay. Close <laughs> enough. That's all enough <laughs> stuff for you guys. So I hope you guys enjoyed this haul, and uh, we'll see you soon. Bye.